Other news tonight, a Nebraska state senator wants to give an Omaha man another chance at freedom. In Nebraska, a judge can grant a new trial if there's newly discovered evidence such as DNA. But right now, a testimony given after a conviction does not count. That's not the case for Ernest Jackson, who is spending decades behind bars for a crime he says he did not commit. Jackson was sent to prison for a deadly shooting when he was just 17. Yet one of his co-defendants testified Jackson was not there. But that never made it into Jackson's trial because it was said after Jackson was found guilty. As of right now, he's exhausted all of his options for a retrial. KETV News Watch 7's Waverly Monroe reports on how this bill could change Jackson's life. My bill allows somebody like Ernest Jackson to prove their innocence by a motion for a new trial. Senator Justin Wayne wants to fix current state law requirements for granting a new trial. If passed, LB 28 would allow individuals to file for a new trial after new evidence is discovered that could not be produced before like a testimony. LB 28 closes the loophole. Of the loophole Jason Whitmer is talking about has kept something. Ernest Jackson in prison for all of his adult life. It's clear cut, yet there's these court policies and rules and language that says we can't do nothing. Jackson was one of three people arrested in the shooting death of Larry Perry in 1999. All three men were tried separately, Jackson going first. He was the only one convicted. In the trial of co-defendant Shalimar Cooperrider, Cooperrider testified that he shot Perry in self-defense and that Jackson was not there. Jackson filed for a retrial, but a judge per state law says Cooperrider's testimony was not new evidence. If there's anybody else stuck in uh, this situation where there's evidence that can vindicate them, um, they should be able to present that in front of a judge. Right now, as it stands, if that same situation happened, that testimony cannot be used for you, for your son, for your neighbor. Inching closer to a chance at freedom, Wayne hopes to debate the bill on the Senate floor mid-February. It's just a a flaw in the process that this bill is trying to correct. Reporting in Omaha, Waverly Monroe for KETV Newswatch 7.